What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day four of On Shape. Today, specifically, we're working on is sweep and how to do sweep well with completed paths and profiles, and how you can easily accidentally select the wrong thing. Okay, so what we're going to do is today, I want you to try your best at making your own initials in kind of cursive, and then uh, from there, we're going to sweep that profile. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Let's create, let's go to document. And we're just going to call this sweep initials. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a sketch on this front face. And then every time we do a sketch, we're going to click on front face as well. All right. Next thing we're going to do is you can either use lines to kind of imprint uh, right at your name, or you can use spline. For this one, since I haven't talked about the spline a whole lot yet, you can try to tinker around with it and see if you get the, the kind of the style you want. But I'm gonna stick with straight lines here. All right, and then creating a segment of continuous lines, let's just kind of outline our initials. So I'm gonna outline uh, Mr. So let's do, let's go up, let's go down. And now, as I start to select certain lines, the geometry and there's some really cool features in on shape that allow you to make sure you're repeating geometry or geometry is lined up. I want to make this M kind of as equal on one side as is the other. And so this dotted yellow line shows up and this tells me that this line is then flush with or at the same level as the other corner. So if I shoot for about the same length, then I know my uh, overall M is starting to look the same. And so what if I want it to end down here? Well, Onshape's not predicting where I want this to end, but I want this to end somewhere in the same ballpark as the other side. So if you hover over a point and then drag it over, it will keep that point active and let you say, okay, now our point is the same length and I didn't have to punch in a single dimension. Pretty cool stuff. All right, so I'm just gonna very quickly do my R. All right, and then keeping it one segment or you could do two different sweeps if you'd really like to. And so we're going to actually, let's do that. Let's do two different sweeps. Let's make this look nice. So now what we're gonna do is make another line for our W. That's 1.245. We're not going exactly the same, but I want pretty close as it can be to being looking all right. Okay, and there we go. We're gonna hit finish sketch on that. Let's see if we run into any problems. I'm doing some new stuff here, so. Let's click on sketch. Let's create a new sketch on our top plane, and we're gonna click on the top you notice I can see right here where my M on my mister is starting to overlap. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create my sweep profile on this point right here. And you can do any profile you'd like. So to do something funky, let's do a rectangle. So let's do R for rectangle, click on this point, and then do my sweep profile as a rectangle. Let's see if we can get away with it. All right, now what I'm gonna do is rotate this around. So what I can see is that my sweep profile of this rectangle intersects that line. So when I click on sweep, what happens is, is that I can now select the path, so the profile that I want to sweep, which is gonna be that rec this uh, square right here. And then the path, I'm gonna click on sweep path, and then I can select where this path is going to go to. Now you can see why we did one continuous line. All right, can I select on that? No, because we see it as a broken line. When that happens, this whole thing lights up. Say if you accidentally selected something you didn't want to select, you can deselect them by clicking on them again, and then you're okay. Or you can hit on these little exit arrows right here and it will deselect those as well.
Okay, let's go ahead and finish on that. And you notice that my W of my sketch has disappeared. That's because my sketch is now consumed. So let's see if I can get away with reusing that sketch. So I'm gonna make that sketch visible again. We're gonna click on the top plane right here and we're going to find that my W is intersected right at the top right here. So I'm going to click on sketch, this center part right here, I'm going to make, oh, we got to select our plane too. Let's click on top. On our center top right here, let's do a circle. So, all right, and then hit finish sketch. All right. So what I've got is got my profile right here. I've got my lines. So let's see if we can do it. So let's sweep. We're going to sweep this circle and the sweep path is going to be this line, this line, and the other parts of my W as well. That looks a whole lot better than my first version. I might keep this as my reference. I just did one continuous line. It made a nice little sharp peak up here, which I thought was a little funny. But so what we did so far is we made two different profiles. One is a square, one was a circle. We reused a sketch by making it visible again. And then uh, we then took those profiles and sweeped it along that sketch. And that looks done. Remember, if you wanna look at your part but not have it interact with anything, we can go ahead and deselect our views. And there we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. We have now officially made our own initials using the sweep function found within Onshape. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or want to do something really, really cool, or you got anything that you specifically want me to make, just shoot me out a comment uh, through any ways that you can find me, and I will see you on the next video. Good luck.